Alrighty boys, so the Chaos and Swords update part 2 is here. This update features Chaos and Swords objectives, rewards, a new bunker, quality of life changes, a squad system, and more. In this video, I'll be going over the main changes, and also some footage from my recent livestream. So anyways, people, now talking, hope you enjoy. Okay, start off with the biggest update, we have the Chaos and Swords objectives. Now these objectives come in the form of primary, secondary, and tertiary objectives. As a team, you can vote on any of these objectives slash rewards to have a clear vision on your game plan so everyone's on the same page. But before we begin, I just want to put out there that these objectives can change. For example, you might need to breach out some SCPs for one objective, however another objective might be eliminate Foundation members, but the rewards will remain the same. Let's start with the tertiary objectives, and one of them are specialized medkits. Depending on your objective, your team will be rewarded these medkits. Now keep in mind you only have two uses of these medkits, However, you can use these medkits on these dispensers to replenish your uses. The next reward is improve equipment. Again, depending on your objective and if you complete it, every event in a game will need less clicks, and also, the C4 explosive beeping noise will be much quieter. Now let's move on to improve logistics. Once you complete your objective, the SCP captures will take 25% less time to capture, and the hack cooldowns are 20% faster. There is another objective called Network Offline. Once you complete your objective, the intelligence agency event alerts will be disabled, and all of the cameras will go offline. I think our objective right now is network offline, so I'll just vote for that. If I had to have a class to escape, I'm pretty sure a class can literally just like walk over here and then kind of uh, kind of just do this thing for us. But you know what? Let's do let's do it the right way. Two seconds later. But okay, let's go over here. There was one guy there though. Okay, let's open this door as well. That's just the medical department, we're good. Probably buying a weapon though, I'm um, Class D! Yo, Class D, come! Class D, come! We're helping my man escape! I got you. Where is he? Oh my goodness, the Class D died! Oh my goodness. Okay, that actually sucks a lot. Maybe let's flank around and go to the Class D containment or something. I us like hide like right over here. I love how these people are like in a corner. Nobody's here. Yo, foundation member. Wait, objective complete. Network offline. Wait, which one is that? Now I can't detect us. Alrighty, let's go, boys. Finally, there's additional reinforcements. This thing temporarily increases the team limit by two in a chaos uncertainty team, which is great because the more chaos, the better. Now let's move on to the secondary objectives. The first one is a classic containment care package. Now once you complete your objective, which by the way, there's two we have to do now, there will be a care package sent to class containment, which looks like this. And afterwards, the class will be equipped with a weapon. There's also an escape tunnel reward you can do. After you complete the objective, there will be a tunnel near Jerry. Let's just uh, go over here, right? I think it's this one, the class containment escape tunnels. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's hack uh, two more things. A few moments later. Mr. 457, we're just gonna keep you in there. I think he's gonna hack this thing. I think I'm gonna reposition back here. Watch this. I'm gonna reposition here, right? The people try to come to this area, I got them. I think the 457 hack is gonna get complete like very soon. And then the class D tunnel should be like open. I gotta run in here. I gotta run. Oh, it's done! The class D escape tunnel! Alrighty, say no more. This tunnel will go from the class containment all the way to the medical sector. Here is some footage of me showing you the two exits you can take. Here is exit 1, going to the checkup rooms. And here is exit 2, going to some commons area, or like some office room. And finally guys, we have the main objective, the Chaos Insurgency Raid. Depending on your objective, once you complete them, you are rewarded with the Chaos Insurgency Raid. To my knowledge, the Chaos Insurgency Raid increases the team size and opens up the Class D tunnels. Which by the way, I'm not too sure if I'm correct about this. If you guys have seen anything else, or know what this Chaos Insurgency Raid does, please let me know down below in the comments. Alright, so that's pretty much all of the main changes, let's go to the other changes. So one of the things I want to show you is this new squad system. As you can see, if I click on a friend's name, I can invite that person to my squad. And I am now able to see the outlet on my squad members to know where they're at. To add more, the Sector 3 vent has been moved. Now before, the Sector 3 vent was near the checkpoint or the entrance of Sector 3. Now it's in the middle of this hallway near the SCPs, which I think is a better place. Alright, now let's go over some of the facility changes. The first one we're going to do is the bunker. I have to be honest, this new bunker is amazing. It's like 10 times better than the old one. 
I would say it allows for a more realistic nuke scenario since you have to navigate your way down here for safety, and also there is more cover to defend from any hostile forces. There we go, let's go to the bunker. Chat, we're going to the bunker. Also, but there's so many chaos concerns, these people are gonna lag and everything. People are doing mobile task force, so that is good. Let's just jump down here. Whoa! I think everyone's laughing. Yo, screw it. I'm joining Mobile Task Force, dude. I'm joining this team. We're going against the Chaos Concerncies, chat. We're gonna go against these people. Let's do this thing. Oh, that thing's gonna explode! I can't even see. Yo, there's so many of them! Hell no! Yo, they're all gonna come from there, dude. I I'm literally lagging. I think everyone's lagging in this game. Oh, God. Dude, there's so many Chaos Concerncies right there. God damn! There's some Chaos Concerncies in here, too. I just shot someone. Oh my goodness. There are corners and everything. This XM250 is out. Yo guys, 16 seconds left. 16 seconds left. Dude, I think everyone's gonna die. <laughs> and I'm a dead man too. Oh my goodness. And there's a class D right there. Bro, this whole entire server is cooked. This whole entire server is cooked. I remember people wanted a daybreak. We'll do this thing and then we'll join different game chat. 30 FPS. I'm at I'm at 60 right now. Almost like no, okay, I'm at 30. Never mind. I take back what I said. SCP RP isn't even loading, dude. Everything is all cooked. Everyone's dying. Yo, there, there's an 05 right there. Yo, everyone's like frozen in time. Wait, is my stream lagging? Chat. Is my stream lagging? My Roblox is lagging, and then uh, th this whole stream is laggy too. Google, I'm your bodyguard. I need I need some engineer bodyguards. Chat, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna go outside. I'm not afraid. Oh, they're coming! Yo, they're coming! Open this door! Yo! They're all in there, chat. Bro, I'm lagging everything. I infected the same guy. There's only 20 survivors left now. Okay. So the admin apartment area has also been changed, and it looks like they also added a cafeteria as well, which is great, so you can grab some food. Alright, now let's go over the main quality of light changes that I really like. So the developers added the ability to disable the kill effects, ring noises, hit effects, and screen shake. They also added these new volume adjustments for the bullets, music, and alarms. And something I just want to point out, any SCPs that are stuck while trying to be recontained will get teleported. Now there are a bunch of great changes in this update, but guys, I want you to go over them yourselves. Overall, I would say this update is amazing, especially for chaos uncertainties. So anyways guys, I'm just done here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, but if you didn't, make sure you dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.